Ho, ho! Vengeance that has got to go, hey, hey! Ho, ho! Vengeance that has got to go, hey, hey! Ho, ho! Vengeance that has got to go! Blackrock, Monopoly, Sammy is not your colony! Blackrock, Monopoly, Sammy is not your colony! Blackrock, Monopoly, Sammy is not your colony! They think that if they control the debt, they control our lives. That if they control the economy, they control our lives. But well, we need to show them who really has the power in, in this society. All the people of Ethiopia, all the people of Chad, all the different countries that are struggling as hard as they possibly can to lift this yoke of debt. It has to be ended now. It has to be stopped now. The debt must be canceled now. I'm here in front of the Black Rock headquarters in New York City, where a group of activists, including various organizations such as the People's Forum, the Answer Coalition, and many others are here protesting BlackRock because BlackRock, as of today, refuses to cancel the $220 million that it holds of Zambia's debt. BlackRock, like Saidi and Kojo said, is a $10 trillion investment company. And they're just not any investment company. They're an investment company in the weapons industry, in the fossil fuel industry, in the pharmaceutical industry. The or whatever it's called, which is the biggest private prisons company in the United States. 60% of Zambians live under poverty. The IMF and the World Bank are led by countries who have for centuries reaped profits and have risen to the point of global hegemony from the human labor, from the material resources across the continent. And this has been the story ever since these countries have achieved nominal independence. It is not an exaggeration to say that Zambia, like most countries in the global south, have never had a chance to exercise their own independence. They have never had a chance to dictate their own development, and they have never had a chance to use all of their native resources to better the lives of the people who actually live in those countries. We are part of a global working class. Okay? Recognize that. They may have a lot of money, they may sit in these fancy offices, but they are a tiny few and we are part of a powerful global working class. And so our solidarity threatens them. When they see what's happening in Niger, in Burkina Faso, and Mali, they are shook. When they see what's happening right outside their own headquarters, they are shook. They gotta send police and barricade it up. They are afraid of our power. So we need to know our power and we need to wield that power. To all of the comrades in Zambia who are struggling with the Socialist Party of Zambia and other mass organizations, we send all of our solidarity here from New York City, USA, where we have gathered at the headquarters of the Vulture Fund, BlackRock, that is trying to strangle Zambia and do everything it can to stop your struggle. And we want you to know that we will stand shoulder to shoulder with you whenever we have to, wherever we have to, to to make sure that the people of Zambia have a basic set of, of living standards that really respect your humanity, your human rights, and your well-being to the best you can, the control of your own resources, the control of your own land, the control of your own institutions. In 2021, Zambia was directing 50% of its funds towards servicing its debt that's held 70% by Western institutions. Zambia is a country in extreme poverty. Over half of the population lives in poverty. 40% live in extreme poverty. 30 5% of children have stunted growth. Clearly, a lot of their public funds should be directed towards their people, but they are unable to as of yet because of the Western institutions that hold um, the vast majority of their debt. Um, so that's why here, various activist organizations are protesting BlackRock and demanding that they cancel Zambia's debt.